Hi, my name is Roberto Casey, makeup artist, and today I'm going to take you on to a behind the scenes look at a really awesome shoot. Yesterday, a really good friend of mine, photographer Aaron Joseph, got a call from Liz Teicht, which is this amazing stylist, and says, Hey, Aaron, I have some clothes. Do you want to shoot? He calls me, and then within one hour, we had the photographer, the stylist, the model, the hairstylist, and a video crew to film the entire thing. So we're really excited. We're going to go in, the three brains are going to get together, we're going to create some really awesome fashion, and we actually don't even know what we're going to do yet, but it's going to be really awesome day. So this is Jessamy. She is from New Zealand, no? Uh -huh. From New Zealand. New Zealand. Uh -huh. First year in New York. What I'm doing now is instead of pulling the product across the eye like this, I'm pushing the product in so it doesn't clump because I'm going really super thick. And now this, what I'm working with right now is actually wet not dry. It's actually a um, watercolor for the skin. It's called Pylon. So I'm using a, an eyeshadow to draw an eyeliner. I don't want it to be too blended. I don't want it to be too choppy. I kind of want it in between because the dress that I'm working with is um, small little stripes. This brush is a, one of my favorite brushes of all time actually. It's a Sila number 15. I'm just going in between the lashes. And I'm using a black and I don't want it to be dark, so I'm going to go really super soft with this. I just want to pop her on. So what I decided was that I like the intensity of the yellow a lot more than I thought. So what we decided to do is go back on top of it and um, kind of, instead of like packing it in, I'm doing brush strokes because now it's thick enough. And I'm flicking it out to the side so it's just a little bit more brush strokey versus so blended. I don't want blended. And then we kind of talked about it, and we, we liked it a little bit more blended on the inside. So instead of me brush stroking the inside, I'm just going to slide out my brush like that and kind of tap it here. So it's not blended, but it's more blended than with the, the outside of the When you're doing your lashes, you want to see that little thing that sticks out? You're going to clip that little piece off so you don't close yourself. I just like to use a Q-tip to get the perfect amount of glue on here. Even though you don't see anything on the eye, I still like to take a white mm -hmm. and get back and then take off whatever might have fallen okay. down. And right. usually, there's something. And then we're going to take a foundation that is almost as dark as she is. So I take the color that's much, much darker than she is. This one's just a little bit darker. Take the color that's basically her skin tone. I'm going to mix these two together. Go up the sides of the nose because you don't actually want to see too much contour. I'm using a small paintbrush this time because what I want to get right in here only. The reason I asked for the mouth opening on is why uh, it's soft. It opens this here. A lot of people suck in. Do that little suck in thing they don't do. That little thing, which says this, but I, you can't get your brush in there when it happens. So I have, I have to go in the mouth to get my brush in there. I use a super strong matte powder and I just do the sides and nose. And if they need it, maybe a new brush around the brow. Everything else, is, yeah. everything else is beautiful. I don't want to powder everything else. Again, I'm Roberto Casey. Thank you for joining me for my makeup show. Have the greatest of days.